In 2005, a synopsis by the Center for Disease Control estimated that 40,000 households had a hedgehogs as pets. The CDC explained that the importation of hedgehogs from Africa was outlawed in 1991 due to disease threats the wild animal inflicted on humans. However, according to the Captive Animals Protection Society, millions of animals have been recorded in trade per year. In 2002, following the illegal drug market, the pet trade was Mark's second largest illegal trade. In August of 2014, the Arizona Game and Fish Department amended Article R12-4-406, pertaining to wildlife rules. Previously restricting hedgehogs, Arizona now recognizes hedgehogs as not pertaining to the restricted live wildlife list and requiring a license to own a hedgehog. The department's reason for doing this is similar to why it also amended the restriction of owning non-human primates as pets. By amending these restrictions, the department hopes to more closely monitor the importation of exotic animals as well as non-human primates. This is a commonly demonstrated issue in something called the pet trade. Take the hedgehog, for example. It was taken out of its environment and put in a different environment and sold as a pet. Basically, it was once a wild animal, and now it's a pet. As discussed in Dr. Teacott's conservation lecture, media has greatly impacted the pet trade. According to a story in the Huffington Post, in the early 90s, the hedgehog's popularity was due to an iconic Nintendo Sonic video game. Following people's obsession with the exotic mammal, the hedgehog is the subject of the North American pet trade. A hedgehog was the cover for the March 2014 issue of the National Geographic magazine. The issue discussed the pet trade and the debate of exotic animals as pets. Emphasizing that pet trade has affected many exotic species as well as primates. In the compelling issue, a photo shows a chimp looking out a window. It's said that a zoo's purpose is to educate the public on exotic animals, with the intention to promote conservation for the world's environment. However, according to the magazine, more exotic animals live in homes than in zoos. So, then are people receiving more of a direct education by owning these exotic animals? Are people aware that the pet trade affects their reason of living? I wasn't, and now my home has a hedgehog. It is loved very much, and fortunately we have been accommodating to its needs. However, people do not simply know what they are getting into when owning these pets. Every animal deserves to remain in its environment. We have evolved into a society that believes recreating a home similar to the wildlife's habitat is good enough. A life may be sustained in a cage, but not lived. Cohabitation should not be forced. There is nothing cooperative about captivation. It's time for us to turn our focus and obsessions towards conserving life lived to its fullest form. As discussed in University of Arizona anthropology professors Stacy Teacott's conservation lecture, media has greatly impacted the pet trade. According to a story in the Huffington Post, in the early 90s, the hedgehog's popularity was due to the iconic Nintendo Sonic video game. Following people's obsession with the exotic mammal, the hedgehog is a subject of the North American pet trade. You can make a change by doing research about the exotic pet you're interested in. Help educate people on the pet trade. Look beyond the point that the animal is for sale and look into who is selling it. Limiting a demand for exotic pets decreases the need for them to be supplied, thus boycotting the pet trade.